like this call here. Uh, hello, um, you're live on the Jesus chat line on Montclair Public Access TV3. Hello, Richard Burnish. Hold on, let's just turn up the levels there. Hello, yeah, you're you're on with Richard Burnish on the Jesus chat line. That's right. Herr, Herr Burnish, do you hear me? <coughs> yeah, you're coming across okay. very, very clear. I hear you very okay. well, Color. What yeah. seems to be... Uh, this yeah, this is Hans Peter Schwanzlutscher, formerly employed at the media department of the Vatican under direct order of Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. Herr Burnisch, as you know, I was working for the Catholic Church, but your gospel about the Neon Bible opened my eyes. Seems like should should I be using torrents? Should I update Firefox? So I just had to quit my job. I I just couldn't do it anymore. There's one terrible incident you don't even know about yet. So uh, I was at the Pope's computer and I saw that he had installed the real media player and he complained that all it says is buffering. So the first thing I wanted to do... Okay. Oh, oh, I, yeah, okay. So the first thing I wanted to do is remove the software agent Bonsi Buddy. You know... The purple gorilla really rustled my jimmies. But the Pope was like, Nein, don't remove him. That gorilla is too cute. Just fix real media player. See, I couldn't understand the Pope's laugh for this virtual animal. I mean, I had always thought monkeys don't go to heaven. And I couldn't stand its face. It reminded me of a certain serial called Gorilla Munch. Anyways, um, I'm over with the Pope and the Catholic Church. You, Herr Burnish, have kept your promise. I mean, you have promised to rid the internet of filth. You, I mean, so the Pope was using bon Bonsai Buddy uh, as a yes, media player. Yes, exactly. The, the the software agent Bonsai Buddy. It is a purple gorilla, which comes with real media player. But real media player only said buffering, and that was just too much for me. I just had to quit it. I mean, first the Pope uses Internet Explorer, yeah. and he doesn't know about the Christ plug. And then he uses Bonsi Buddy. I just don't know, Richard. So, anyways, I mean, you have bonus. You have kept your promise. I mean, you promised to rid the internet of filth. And I had always thought that this was an utopia. But once you have told me about the Christ plug for Firefox, it was like a dream come true, and I almost had to cry. But then I've told myself, shh, no tears, only dreams now. Wow. There's been a lot of information in the, in the last little bit. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it really rids the internet of filth. I mean, I used to have this GIF animation of a dancing devil on my MySpace profile, but now it's finally gone. Thank you, Richard Burnish. Yeah, yeah, well, you know what, caller? Bon, bon, first off, apes, monkeys, or apes, they don't go to heaven. That's just, that's, that's simple as, as, as the day is long. I'm glad you cleared that. To be, to be using bonsai, buddy. <laughs> you don't use that. Yeah, you don't exactly. Don't use bonsai, buddy. You don't. You don't use that. That's not. That's not what it. Because everyone knows that is not like the funding. Okay, so I get a little bit excited there. No, please just go ahead, Richard. We. I, you know what, the Neon Bible answers a lot of these questions. You know, there's a lot of people out there, and I'm really surprised and disappointed in the Pope. Everyone, everyone, yeah. at least in the Christian community that I know, is aware of using Christ Plug as exactly. an add-on for their Firefox to filter the, you know, the <coughs> religious content in, in, in relevance to what you're searching for. And everyone knows that you should be using... Um, What's the video? What's the music? What's the media player that we use for our for our files, Stephen? WM <coughs> Windows Media Player. Yeah. The Windows Media Player. You don't. The, it, it, you don't need because again, you know. I'm just I'm just deeply upset by all of this. Yeah, and I, I really agree with you, Richard. And I mean, this is why I quit the job at the Vatican. So was the was the entire Vatican using bonsai buddy? Or yes, they the were Pope? all excited about it. The bonsai buddy just kept on saying GTO and N. I don't even know what that means. So they were all excited about using bonsai buddy. Yes. That's really disappointing. 
Yes, and that is why I just had to quit well, this job, Richard. You, you I mean, them? I simply escaped. Did I escaped you, from the Vatican. Did you tell them that they should maybe be using the one that came with the safest one, the one that came with the computer, that one w Windows Media Player? Did you tell them that maybe they should be using as their because you were doing their technical support? Did you tell them that maybe they shouldn't be using Bonsai Body? That they should be maybe worried about the cookies? Yes, yes, I know, but they wouldn't listen. I mean, they were like, look at this purple gorilla. It is so cute. It is so cute. And then I just had to leave it all behind. I had to escape. And I mean, as you know, I was behind Vati Leaks, where I uploaded secret documents of the Vatican to my GeoCities page. Yeah, I no, I, I, I can't believe that. I, well, you've taken the right step. I mean, in our religion, we, uh, we've, we don't recognize the Pope. We that is good. We don't recognize him at all. No. Or cuz you know what? Cuz we've heard we didn't know firsthand, but we've heard some of this. We've heard some of these things. We've heard <laughs> that the tor you know, the, you know that that they were that we've actually heard that they were using torrents down there. And, yeah. and and they've been using there's certain types of files that are used to in the black market to exchange file types uh, to share with each other like RAR. Rar yeah, is, yeah, the, the, the Pope isn't, isn't even had used. Napster and Kazaa installed on his computer. I mean, Napster and Kazaa, yeah. can you believe it? Yeah, no, well, exactly. Or, or like, if, you're, if you see, like, a file, Stephen, that says RAR, that's been, that's been pirated. Yeah, if you see RAR, that's not, like, a lion roaring. No, that's not. Like, RAR means it's stolen. You wouldn't download a car, so why would you download that? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you, you wouldn't steal a baby. No, but why would you steal a film or steal? I, I can't believe yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. So this is Everyone why I just had to quit it, zip. and I had to escape. You have to zip. Zip is the office friendly, and it's you're not gonna down, like. I'm just disappointed by all of this. Yeah. So so l listen to me, Richard. So. The Swiss guard was on to me. He knew that I was uploading secret documents of the Vatican to my GeoCities page. So I wanted to save the last document and then escape. But the 500 kilobyte big BMP file of the Pope wearing a lingerie, what's it called, like woman's undies, was too big to attach to my AOL email. So I had to print it out on my dot matrix printer. And now I'm on the run, Richard. I'm in deep trouble, Richard. Do you still have the BMP? Yeah, well, I printed it out on my dot matrix printer. How was the quality? It is um, in grayscale. Unacceptable. Yeah, so if, if you so could, if you could scan or fax us a copy of this this image, that would be greatly like we could definitely if you could somehow salvage the image. Maybe yeah. maybe we could maybe we could use this for something. Yeah, well, I think this image is the only thing that is still keeping me alive. I mean, the, the Swiss guard, he was on to me, and uh, this is the main reason why I'm calling Richard. So, Richard, I mean, I, I, had, to, I had to kill him, Richard. I mean, I, I, I put him my clothes on, and then I burned his face and faked my own death. I, I, I just don't, don't know what to do anymore, Richard. <sighs> Well, I think you should. I I think you should come come to the United States. Come here. Okay. Okay. I I hope this is this is okay. I mean, <laughs> you could move, probably move already hear my healthy move condition. I think I I got the Freddie Mercury disease. Mercury, I hope it's okay to come with the Freddie Mercury disease mercury? in the USA. You have mercury poisoning? No, I I think I've got AIDS, but I support something called good AIDS, which is something innocent. You know, like if you get it through a, through a blood transfusion or through a syringe. So this is good AIDS, not bad AIDS, which is the, the what homosexuals get. And I think I I got it when I got his blood into my mouth when I killed the Swiss guard. Is it like uh, it's a lot? Is it like good and bad cholesterol, kind of like that? Yes, exactly, exactly. I mean, okay. good good AIDS is something innocent. You okay. you aren't responsible for. That's not the one that makes your immune system go go away. It's not that one. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a, a religious person. So I wouldn't know, Richard. This is why I'm asking you. You need to come here. You need you need to come. You need to come to Oakland. Okay, I will do this, Richard. I I what do you, Stephen? Right. We must fly him down here.
He needs our help. <coughs> okay. Well, it's decided then. Well, well, well. Let's. Can you hold hold on the line, caller? One second, and let's hold on. 